Okay, so welcome to Iran, everyone. My name is Anshu Kumar, and I'm here with a new launch, a new announcement for all of you. Not for the courses, by the way. Courses I'll try to bring in a later stage, but uh, today I'm going to make an announcement for a system, so which is going to help you out in terms of preparing your interview. A very, very simplistic, but yet amazing and very lethal and effective system. Effective system. You all will be able to find out. So nowadays, guys, whenever you are going to submit a resume, so obviously there will be an applicant tracking system, ATS system, which is going to filter out your resume. Uh, technically, people are using AI over there a lot nowadays to parse your resume, to filter out one resume out of maybe a thousand or maybe a ten thousand resume. To counter that, we have a resume AI. Again, for job, we have a job AI. Again, to provide you a chat GPT kind of feature, we have a URI. To give you an API access of the entire model, uh, so we have a. complete universe of the model with a uri api system and now we are here with a product called as avni avni is a product which is going to help you out in terms of taking a interview and not just a verbal interview it is going to take even your coding interviews if you are coming from a tech background so without wasting a time i would like to share my screen guys and uh, let's start a uh, interview let's take a demo of this avni so once you will come to this uron platform here you will be able to see i think i'm not sharing a, uh, yeah now i'm sharing yeah so here you will be able to find out avni ai now just click on this avni ai and what you have to do is that that you have to drop your resume just your resume so let me select one of the resume so there is a person called as lokesh and uh, a front end guy and i have just uh, chosen his resume and i'll try to give a interview for a front end developer although i don't have much of idea in terms of a front end but uh, still i can give a try i can give a try so here you just have to upload your resume and it is going to take maybe 1 minute to 1 and 1/2 minute of time for all of us to prepare your entire interview and yes now it's live and microphone is in use uh, okay so yeah now let's start the conversation guys great To begin, please introduce yourself and tell us about your background. Okay, so basically my name is Lokesh and uh, I am working as a front end developer. I have worked into a multiple project and in a multiple technology so far. That's great. Could you elaborate on a specific project or technology you found particularly challenging or rewarding? Uh so I was working in this product called as Avni and this Avni itself like uh, you know uh, is a very challenging and a complex project for me. uh because there was a real time conversation which was happening from a client to a server side and uh, we have to manage a latency so yeah avni is one of the conversational ai and uh, this is one of the complex project uh, recently in which i have worked thank you for sharing that would you like to move on to the next question oh uh, yeah please Tell us about your master's project at Rajiv Gandhi Pradyogiki Vishwavidyalaya and the technologies you used. Uh so basically it was a basic uh, intensive kind of project I have done uh, where I was trying to develop a basic uh, portal uh, so yeah. Could you elaborate on the specific technologies you utilized during the development of this portal? Oh uh, yeah so from a front end side so I was using a react I was using a tailwind css I was using a uh, like a javascript html and all those things yeah. Okay, let's begin. Could you describe your experience with UI UX design principles and how you apply them in your front-end development work? Uh no idea at all. I understand. Would you like to move on to the next question? Yes. Okay, let's begin. What motivated you to pursue a career in front-end development and what are your long-term career goals? Uh I think I like writing a code I like doing a animation and when I see a beautiful you know uh, interface so uh, yeah so it it gives me some sort of a boost and uh, it helps me out to explore more and learn more so I believe that was a motivation and my long term career goal is to become a better and better and uh, maybe in next 2 to 3 years so I would like to become a full stack developer front end back end everything That's great to hear. What specific areas of front end development are you most passionate about? Uh as of now I'm not sure about it. Understood. Would you like to move on to the next question? Yeah, sure. Oh, so 19 question by the way. 
And after okay. that, coding around Let's become, begin. So. Yeah. Explain your understanding of React component lifecycle methods and how they are used. No idea. Next question. Yeah, no idea at all. Okay, let's begin. Describe your experience with Next.js and its features, such as server-side rendering and routing. Uh, don't know. Since you don't know, would you like to move on to the next question? Yeah. Okay, let's proceed. How do you approach state management in React applications? And what are your preferred state management libraries? No idea. Okay. Would you like to move on to the next question? Yeah. I'm just trying to pass all 19 questions, by the way. Okay, I understand. Let's move on to the first question. Explain your understanding of TypeScript and its benefits in front-end development. No idea. Okay. Okay, let's begin. Describe your experience with Tailwind CSS and its utility-first approach to styling. No idea. How do you ensure cross-browser compatibility in your front-end projects? No idea. Okay, no problem. Would you like to move on to the next question? Yes. Okay, let's begin. Can you explain your understanding of accessibility, specifically WCAG guidelines? No idea. And how you imp okay. Would you like to move on to the next question? Yes. Okay, let's begin. Could you describe your experience with RESTful APIs and how you integrate them into front-end applications? No idea. Okay, would you like to move on to the next question? Yes. Okay, let's proceed. What are your preferred methods for debugging and testing front-end code? No idea. Okay, no problem. Would you like to move on to the next question? Yes. Explain your understanding of performance optimization techniques in front-end development. No idea. Next question. Would you like to move on to the next question? Yes. Okay, let's begin. Describe your experience with version control systems like Git. No idea. Okay. Would you like to move on to the next question? Yes. Okay, let's begin. How do you approach UI UX design and collaboration with designers? No idea. Next. Okay. Since you're not familiar with that, would you like to move on to the next question? Yes. Okay, let's begin. Explain your experience with building responsive UIs for different screen sizes. No idea, next. Okay, let's begin. Describe your experience with Material UI and its component library. No idea, next. Okay, since you have no experience with Material UI, would you like to move on to the next question? Yes. Okay, let's begin. How do you handle user authentication and authorization in front-end applications? No idea. Next. Since you'd like to move on, would you like to move on to the next question? Uh, yes. Explain your understanding of different HTTP methods and their use cases. No idea. Next. Okay, let's begin. Could you describe your experience with integrating third-party libraries and APIs? Don't know. I understand. 
Would you like to move on to the next question? Yes. Okay, let's begin. How do you stay up to date with the latest trends and technologies in front-end development? No idea. Okay, let's begin. What are your preferred tools and technologies for front-end development? Don't know. Since you're not familiar with that question, would you like to move on to the next one? Yes. So guys, here I'm trying okay, to... Okay, uh, let's begin. Re Apologies, it seems there was some background noise. To reiterate, could you please write a function okay. to reverse a string? Okay, let's begin. Write a function to check if a string is a palindrome. Okay, so I have just uh, pasted the code. Can you please check? Could you briefly explain your code? Uh, no, I can't. I have just written that code. <laughs> I understand. Would you like to move on to the next question? Uh, yeah, sure. Okay, let's start with the first question. Write a function to find the factorial of a number. Okay guys, so basically this is what I was trying to show you that uh, how Avni actually works. So I have already shown you, right? So I am basically in a third round and uh, technically it has scheduled a five round for me. And if you'll come again with the same resume, you will be able to find out that uh, the rounds are not going to be same. The questions are not going to be same. So every time it is going to generate a different kind of a question. So this is better than, and again, I have received a feedback uh, since morning itself that this is better than anyone taking your interview or anywhere you are practicing an interview, starting from, starting from a, theoretical round or maybe a introduction round to a coding round to a managerial round to a technical round it will be able to take each and every round and then at the end of the day it is going to give you or it is going to show you the final score yeah it is going to show you technically a final score which is going to help you so technically which is going to help you out in terms of preparing for any kind of an interview and uh, as of now we have given a quota of three for any user a paid user for a euron and uh, yeah, so we are just trying to observe a system. We are just trying to observe a load because it's a real time conversational system that we have built, which behaves uh, just a real time as you are able to see into a demo. It has scheduled like a five round of interview for me. And again, if I'll come so I can try to practice as many round of interview as possible. And again, so I can try to give an answer in Hindi. That's completely fine in some other languages. That's completely fine. So multi language supports are already available with this particular system. And hope you all will be able to find out this system as an amazing, amazing, amazing system. Yeah. So just let me know what is your feedback about this interview system, how useful this interview system is going to be. And now you don't have to go out and find someone who can take your interview. Soon we are like, uh, I'm planning. Uh, so as per the people interest, obviously, uh, I'll try to release a next uh, model. I'll sit, wait and observe. Uh, because this is the product that we have already released. So where you will be able to, you know, uh, pass uh, basically a company name, you will be able to pass basically a job description and it will be able to take your interview. Anyhow, as of now, if you're going to put up something in your like a uh, resume, so according to that, it is going to take your interview. So if there is a product based companies uh, that you have worked on so far, so obviously it is going to frame an interview accordingly. If it is a service based company, so basically it, it behaves according to your interview, according to your resume, right? And it will try to generate a question according to your like a resume. Plus it is going to give you a score when you are going to complete the entire round. If you are not completing the entire round, it simply means that it will assume you are not a serious candidate. Yeah, you are not a serious candidate. So you have to go and attend an interview once again. So hope uh, all of you are doing it. All of you are going to take an interview. All of you are going to practice an interview with Avani. And uh, yes, do let me know okay. about your feedback and uh, I will be here to build as many features as possible to make your life easy and easy and easy. I know that uh, we are living in a world of AI and uh, 
Yeah, so everything we are trying to do with the AI and many companies are using the, exactly the same kind of a system. When you will go and when you will try to give an interview, you will be interacting with exactly same kind of a system. So that's the reason. So I have like a tried to replicate the system for my students so that they all will be able to, they all will be able to leverage a benefit and they should not feel surprised when you are going to give an interview. With that, thank you so much everyone. Take care. See you again in my upcoming video.